Good morning, our father's daughters. I haven't spoken to you for a while because I've been very ill. On 29 May, I had a major operation, an abdominal hernia repair. A week later, the drains were taken out of the incision. And two weeks later, I woke up in a pool of blood and was rushed back to hospital and back to theatre where they had to remove the edema that had formed underneath my incision. So I've been very weak. I even had contracted a viral infection. And yes, I just felt that the life was fly flowing out of me and it really felt like a, an attack from the devil. And while I was in this whole situation, I thought, Lord, I actually have a choice. I can now blame the doctors, blame myself, blame anybody else, blame the devil. Or I can look beyond my circumstances and give thanks with a grateful heart for everything the Lord has done. Thank you, Lord, for the wonderful birds that are singing outside while I'm lying in my hospital bed. For the people who looked after me, for friends who brought food and flowers and messages on Facebook and on WhatsApp, for my absolutely fantastic husband who was like an angel, who's been like an angel all the time, looking after me, bathing me, dressing my wounds, taking me to the doctor to and fro and just being an absolute pillar of strength. It's his birthday today, so it's a very special day to us. And yes, he is just absolutely fantastic. And God has given us to each other to look after each other. And next time it'll be my turn to look after someone else. But, but I really had to think and realize, don't look at the circumstances I'm caught in. Look beyond that and see the goodness of God. Look at Jesus. And you know, there's this song, Give Thanks with a Grateful Heart. And if you listen to the words of those, that song, it makes you think, what else can you be thankful for? And, and I would like to encourage you to even go so far as to make a list. If you are caught up in a traumatic situation, go and start making a list of things that you can be grateful for. Just the fact that you are breathing, the fact that you are still here on earth means that God still has a plan for you. Anything else that you can think of, thank you, Father, that I can see, that I can hear, that I can speak, even though my voice is a little bit hoarse from the pipes uh, that they had to put into my throat during an ascetic and the viral infection. But still, there is so much to be grateful for. Thank you, Lord, that I can make this video, that it may help someone out there to get a focus on you and not on their circumstances. So I would like to encourage you, look beyond your circumstances. doesn't matter how traumatic they are. And give thanks with a grateful heart. Because Jesus Christ, his son, has died for us. And I just want to pray that you will really have a revelation of the grace of God today. Be blessed. Bye.